Good morning, this is the captain. Do hope you're all enjoying the little transit down Gerash Strait. I do apologise, it's a rather low cloud base at the moment. It's, uh, once we're into Nunlek, there's uh, several hours of sort of real exciting sightseeing. And we'll be very, very slowly picking our way through the ice because you generally it is quite uh, congested in that area. We are still in the Gerlash Strait, but just for a few more moments, and then we will start a transit through the Neumeyer Channel, which will go around the island. So we're just coming into the Neumeyer Channel on the port side. The left-hand side of the ship is Vienki Island, and on the starboard side of the ship, the right-hand side is Anvers Island, the much larger of the islands in the Palmer Archipelago. You can see the ice cliffs and the glaciers coming down off the islands and carving into the into the Neumai Channel. Once we approach, it widens out. The speed is only seven knots an hour, which is like 10 miles, that's it. Here we go very slowly, so it will be a great passage. We'll be here for a few hours drawing, going through this place. Right, so we are just coming up to the entrance to the Neumeyer Channel, and on the right-hand side, on the starboard side of the ship, as you're looking forward, is Lion Island. As Christian was saying, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost in the Neumeyer Channel. Some little blue sky is appearing. Let's hope it stays the way it is. It will be a great passage for the 20 miles approximately. Fabulous. For a few days I had a question, how close we're going to go to the icebergs? Well, ladies and gentlemen, on the starboard side, there is the answer, close enough. Keep your eyes open on the floating icebergs. You might see seals or penguins on top of the icebergs, as we will be now for hours, a few hours going around the Neumeyer Channel. Icebergs are like DNA, never two are alike. Some of the mountains in this part of the peninsula reach straight up from the sea, rising from the surface of the sea up to a height of around 1600, 1700 meters. It's just under 6,000 feet. It's, they seem deceptive when we sail alongside them, but they, they really are a towering range of mountains that line the Gerlach Strait and the Neumeyer Channel. And that gives you an indication of the size of these ice cliffs that we're passing at the moment. To talk too much of a, such a beautiful place that we're going through, I remember I always say a thousand words is less is less than one picture. And once you see it, it's more than a thousand pictures. So going through here, just appreciate as we're entering now the Numair Channel. Take advantage of this beautiful day. And a small sailing vessel, a very small craft to be in the channel at the moment. It's a uh, sort of sailing ship, more like a pleasure craft than anything. Well, ladies and gentlemen, about the flag, seems like it's a Polish flag passing. We're just talking with Christian here, and we are lucky it's overcast. Then you see the beautiful bluish color of the glaciers. If it would be nice bright sun, would be a piece of a white ice. 
so we are very thanks joe yeah uh i've been down here a few times now and every time i've been here the weather's been completely different and the great thing about this part of the peninsula you really can't go wrong with weather conditions even if it is a little bit overcast as it is at the moment i think the the dark clouds add something to the the grandeur of the place uh the where i'm looking at at the moment along the the coastline of Vienki island i can see the the low cloud hugging the tops of the mountains and it really does add something to the the scale and the the spectacle of the mountains it's not all over cloudy and overcast in the distance at the front of the ship i can see the where we're going to turn the corner of the Neumeier channel and it looks fairly sunny down there it's pretty good visibility you can see the a line of very old blue ice on the edge of the ice cliffs and just in the distance off the starboard bow there's a few patches of blue sky and on the mountains of the Inky island i can just see the sun just picking out the tops of some of the mountains so as i said any weather conditions down here doesn't matter too much because it all adds to the spectacle of this fantastic bit of the antarctic not a great deal at the moment the channel's quite clear thankfully it's not a very wide channel only just over a mile wide so we're lucky that there's not a lot of ice down here so we can get through it also in front of us is a very small sailing vessel well it appears small to us but it's just we're just coming towards it in the middle of the Neumeier channel and we should be passing it fairly soon Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's Captain, I do hope you've had a wonderful morning this morning watching all the ice and the sights to behold in Numaya. Very pleased that the uh, cloud lifted and really did put on a fantastic show for us as we made our way very slowly down the fields. Well, the plan is at the moment to, uh, we're just going to start increasing speed now. We're now at uh, the south end of uh, Numaya. And we're going to cross back across the Gurla Strait. That's where we were heading down this morning, through the, uh, through the night. And then we're going to head over to the, uh, slightly towards the southwest. And we will enter a passage called the Butler Passage. Well, ladies and gentlemen ship is turning to the starboard to the right and continuing around the islands through this beautiful channel the glaciers extend for miles and miles and each glacier has a different name even they are connected one to another <laughs> Visibility is pretty good at the moment. You can see all the way to the Antarctic Peninsula, uh, the Humphreys Heights there, and Booth Island, the twin peaks of Booth Island, and the Le Maire Channel stretching southwards. So this is a great view of the Antarctic continent, the peninsula itself. And we're slowly turning around so everyone gets a good view of it. And just to give you a bit of uh, background as to why we've stopped where we have chosen right here and now. But at the moment, we're just less than one mile from the position that the entire ship's certification, the insurance, the crew agreement, so all the contracts for every single crew member on board, would cease to function. So that's the parallel 
of 65 degrees south. And so this is as far south as this ship is ever allowed to travel. As part of the Antarctic Treaty, and uh, all the larger ships, such as ourselves, ships carrying more than 500 passengers on board are restricted from uh, entering south of 65 degrees south. Anyway, we'll be here for another five, ten minutes or so, then we'll turn around and uh, head back out the way we came. I do hope you're enjoying to continue to enjoy the uh, lovely sights and sounds today.